All right, hey guys, this is going to Sky here with another Exos Heroes video. So FC Scrubs core reverses out, and the results are a little underwhelming. Before we get into talking about FC Scrubs' new kit, be sure to join the Discord if you want to talk all things Exos Heroes, active community of people all playing this game regularly. Also, a like on this video would be really appreciated. It's the best way to help out the YouTube algorithm. A lot of people ask me on what emulator I'm using. Currently using LD Player, so link down in the description if you're looking to download that. That definitely helps with the channel. So with all that out of the way, Let's get into the video. Initially, I was very excited about her new passive. It looks like it's not as good as I was expecting. When it comes to her passive, it resets every round. I was hoping that it was going to be indefinite scaling, which would make it very good for Labyrinth, would make it good for Trials, and make it good for Dragon, which is what I was hoping. Every round, so in the Dragon Phase 1 to Phase 2 to Phase 3, it changes. It does, I have tested it, it does stay active during Phase 4. If you have a really built up Scarlet, and you're looking to actually finish the dragon, I think she's gonna be one of the best characters for Monday, Friday, Saturday as well. When it comes to just damage, there's better characters out there, but she's gonna be good. The attack will definitely scale. If you see my video when it comes to when FC Talia came through, you can last a lot of rounds in the uh, dragon, especially in phase four. And that's when she would really shine is lasting that long and getting so many rounds in within a, one particular round. So it doesn't actually reset her attack. Then that would be an example of her getting a ton of attack. And I bet she can crit incredibly hard in that situation, but it's just so niche and it's doing something that is already possible to do without her. So it's just not that useful at the moment. But well, and then before I get into what I think she could be in the future, doesn't really work too well in trials because the rounds in too quickly. I would just say there's better characters with better synergy out nowadays. I don't think she's worth it. Just get forcing a raw damage dealer that is not this infinite scaler doesn't make it worth it in my opinion i think it could have been good she she actually was infinite scaling and then it would be like okay you're justifying putting this character that's just bringing damage but it's going to be so much damage that it's going to be worth it but at the um, at the moment i don't think scrub's worth it at all even before even with the whole infinite scaling thing i was thinking this as more of a boost to a character that potentially people already pulled there is the core memory that you could put you could factor in but i don't think she was worth pulling before and definitely don't think she's worth pulling now that we see how good she's actually performing definitely save your zest i think there's gonna be a lot more characters coming this way we have chapter 15 coming up which probably means a new general which is gonna be a good character all the schmid and dorka are both good characters even without a fake core at the moment so probably the general of saint west is gonna be a very good character we haven't had a banner for a general character in a minute. So definitely keep that in mind. So say for that, there's a, the gold fake core of this banner hasn't been released yet. And the last few gold fake cores have been very good. We had Talia, we had Shell, we had, you know, so I can definitely see the gold fake core potentially, even though this, this current banner is very underwhelming. I can see the gold fake core probably being pretty good. Definitely don't pull for her. Pretty underwhelming so far. Staying positive for the future. I feel like some some character like this could potentially be very good in a situation with new content that is very hard. It's going to take a long time to beat because a lot of the new content that comes out is difficult. But what happens is, is you're stuck there for so long trying to finish a round because they have just so much health, but you're not like dying to them. It's not like this burst situation. It's this grindy, okay, we got to stack up break them and then slowly slowly do enough damage to finally move to the next round where and that's been a pattern for a lot of this div, quote unquote difficult content for a minute now so i can see her actually being very useful in that scenario where maybe chapter 15 is back to really hard but the type of hard it is is it's just like okay these guys are just so tanky that so that you actually have time to scale so it, it still a bummer still doesn't make her worth pulling or, but if you already have her or if you happen to pull her because she is a black fake core so the odds are just over time you might pull her it's it's pr pretty reasonable to assume that a lot of people have her so that that's how i'm looking at fc scarlet when it comes to whether or not she's worth pulling or not pulling at this time and how good she is so th that's my thoughts on her definitely a bummer i was really hoping for a really good character here that had you know, a lot of potential for a ton of damage, but unfortunately that's not the case. And then another thing too, I didn't mention when it comes to Dragon, is that you can't even tell how much attack she has because you can't hold on and like see exactly how much damage they're doing, all that stuff. So it's 
a little bit of a well you you can't hold you can't hold their their portrait and see how much stats they have so i would have uh, loved to been able to do that and then just see how much she's scaling especially if i can get her survivable in phase four not showing it because it's i got to phase four so other the passive is active and then just get died because i don't have her rank one like i don't have her awakened don't have any so it's like her surviving there is going to be it's just not going to happen even with tantalo even with other characters that increase survivability so that's pretty much it for this one definitely a bummer that she isn't that good but oh well it happens if you guys have her she's definitely not a bad character by any means but she's not as good as i was hoping for before i end the video if you're looking for an emulator the emulator i'm using is ld player linked down in the description also join the discord if you want to talk all things excess heroes we have a lot of discussions on whether or not you should pull what characters are good strategy and all that so be sure to join the discord if you actually like the video if you actually learned something please like the video it, it, that's the best way to help the algorithm out and with that until next time peace